We are here at the DSEI exhibition in London. I'm here with Kira Luna. And Kira, we have some significant highlights on the stand this year. Yes, yes we have. We have brought with us a large product portfolio. Uh, we have Cortex vehicle integration or digital solutions. And this is actually the first time we present the Cortex under this new product brand. We have our rem remote weapon station and we are displaying it on an unmanned uh, ground vehicle. We have both the Naval Strike Missile and the Joint Strike Missile here. We have uh, NASAMS and we have just signed two important contracts on that with uh, Qatar and Australia. We also have uh, the new console we are designing for the Norwegian-German submarines, the Orca product we call it, which we just launched in Germany at the big event last week. We have other naval system products and uh, last but not least also the radios, radio communication equipment uh, uh, for defense applications. So Arne, what is it we have here? So this is an unmanned ground vehicle that is controlled from an operator uh, on a remote distance through radio. And on this uh, platform we have a remote weapon station made by Kongsberg. It's one of the protector uh, family remote weapon stations. Uh, here we have a 30 by 113, 30 millimeter cannon uh, and a javelin anti-tank missile. So what's the intentional use for this, uh, for this particular system? So this uh, system can be controlled by an operator sitting in, a, let's say, a motor vehicle. Uh, he can use it as a scout, uh, put it in a forward position and uh, detect and engage the enemy from a safe distance. Vetle, what is Cortex? Uh, Cortex is a, is a definition of several systems. So we have different types of subsystem inside the whole Cortex network. Uh, it ranges from a single platform vehicle and up to the brigade level with communication solutions, battle management solutions and also fire support systems. You are occupying an entire corner here at the Kongsberg stand. Yep. What exactly are you displaying? Well, uh, we're trying to display as much as possible. Uh, if it were up to us, we would probably need the whole stand to show the whole system. But we are displaying uh, from a single forward observer vehicle, so a fighting vehicle that's further along in the firing line, that uh, sees and identifies the target, sends it through the command chain and all the way down to the artillery vehicles that fire from a longer range. Then we also have a joint fire cell over here on the big bird's view table. This shows the entire operation. It integrates all the systems and makes it possible for you at the brigade level to follow the entire situation at all times. Vidar, Defense Communications has also brought something new with them to this year's stand. What is that? Yes, uh, we have brought uh, our new radio, which are uh, HF, VHF and UHF radio all in one. And it's going all the way from 20 megahertz up to 1.3 gigahertz. And this uh, is a compact with all the latest technologies. Yes, because it looks quite modest, but it, it, it really uh, provides a difference. Yes, all the technology that we have developed through all the years, they are now uh, compressed into this small unit that is all singing and dancing for, uh, for communication. And remind me again, why do we need communication systems? Oh, everyone needs communication. And uh, whether it is application for air defense, for signal core or other uh, applications, Communication is the, the glue of all of this. Without communication, nothing works. Kira, I know that you have an extremely hectic schedule. Where's the next great places to meet up with Kongsberg? There are many opportunities worldwide, as a matter of fact. We have about 30 large and small exhibition conferences a year, which we support. And uh, the next bigger one would be Pacific in Sydney, Australia, a more naval-oriented exhibition. And then in the beginning of October, we'll be at AUSA in US. This is a more land-oriented exhibition there and the biggest in the, in the US. <laughs>